in the world of movies and entertainment and theme parks, um, there is a certain culture, a certain pop culture thing that happens, I would say. And this thing that happens um, kind of connects people, kind of doesn't. But when certain things pop up, we have to stop and discuss them, specifically in the area of merchandise. So it feels like not too long ago that the internet was somewhat blessed with this. Yes, this is what I like to call um, the very first sprout of the popcorn bucket craze. And that in, in and of itself is what we're talking about today. Because popcorn buckets, like the Dune popcorn bucket that you just saw, is definitely the very first kind of popcorn bucket that kind of sprouted ideas in people. And that idea essentially turned into a craze. So much so that now, movies are doing the impossible and making incredible popcorn buckets due to Dunes being such an incredible seller. And it doesn't stop there. I want to let you know that it's not just at the movie theaters that you're gonna see cool ass popcorn buckets. And one of those popcorn buckets, I do have to say that when I saw, I said, no, 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 hold on, stop. This is a worthy addition to our theater, movie theater setup thing, home theater setup that we have. And it is this right here. Yes, what I have on my head is literally a popcorn bucket that if you turn it over, you can pop open the bottom and you can get the popcorn upside down. But when you flip it, it is what it is. It is a Stormtrooper helmet. That is brilliant. Brilliant, okay? Like, how long did Disney just sit on this idea and do nothing about it? They could have done it years ago. Now, it's not a full-size helmet. Like, you could probably put a kid's head inside of it, but not, like, it doesn't fit on my head at all. But you could probably put, like, a, a small child's head inside that popcorn bucket, and that person could, that kid could easily use it. Um, but it's a popcorn bucket. And so much so we bought it, because it's, like, how could you not live without that popcorn bucket in your living room. I don't know. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, isn't that what popcorn buckets should be? Should be absolutely awesome and a talking point of some kind. And speaking of talking points, um, let's talk about Ryan Reynolds' idea of designing this. Yes, this is the Deadpool popcorn bucket, which I do have to say um, resembles, let's just say, whoever bought the Dune popcorn bucket more than likely would use this one for whatever they use the other one for. I'll just let your imagination run wild with that idea. Okay, I'm just gonna let that bubble and, you know, stew in your head for a while. Whoever bought the other one will probably buy this one for the same reason. I'll just leave it at that. And I have to say, this one, I'm not gonna dive too much into other popcorn buckets because this one is the one that I wanted to end on this video because it blew me away, okay? They are gonna release now the new Alien Romulus movie and you know you could make several different types of these popcorn buckets but they decided to do the greatest possible thing this right here 
they literally built a freaking xenomorph head as the popcorn bucket. That's genius. Genius. That is genius. I have to say that they nailed it, wouldn't even begin to describe it. I think that if you are the type of person who is like a collector of some kind, or if you're someone who loves to have incredible little knickknacks and stuff around the house that really are talking points, this is 100% one of the things that you wanna have in your house. Trust me, trust me what I'm about to say. I may, just may go see Alien Romulus in theaters just because I want to buy this popcorn bucket. I know it's a wild idea, but I might just go to get this popcorn bucket because it's amazing. Now, I don't know if it's a theater specific type popcorn bucket. I hope it's not, but man, does it look cool. Oh man, I definitely want to have this hung up on a wall. You know, kind of reminds me of that scene in, I think it was, I think it was Predator 2, that you go into the Predator ship, and on the Predator's wall of, you know, trophies, you see the Xenomorph head. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the Xenomorph up on the wall, and people are gonna be, like, questioning it. Like, is it? Is it? Is it not? No, it's a popcorn bucket, because popcorn buckets are getting awesome. And honestly, like, I, I'm, I don't know what the Joker popcorn bucket is gonna look like. I don't know what, uh, man, what other great movies are yet to come out this year? I mean, the, there wasn't a Twister popcorn bucket, you know? There wasn't a Mad Max, you know, the Furiosa movie popcorn bucket, which could have been amazing, but they didn't. Um, man, popcorn buckets are getting awesome, and I can't wait to see what they make for future movies. And if you agree with my sentiment on popcorn buckets and how cool they are getting, go down in the comments right now and tell me what your favorite popcorn bucket is. Is it one from the movie theaters? Is it the Dune popcorn bucket? Is it the Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn bucket? Is it the Xenomorph popcorn bucket? Is it the Figment popcorn bucket? You Disney fans out there, you know the one I'm talking about, the Figment popcorn bucket. Which one is it? I want to hear from you down below what your favorite popcorn bucket is. And let's discuss, let's talk about popcorn buckets. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when new videos go live on this channel. And thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Scrolling through YouTube, same old routine, then bam, movie savant, what a scene. Trivia bombshells dropping knowledge like rain. Forget the dishes, gotta watch it again. Movie buffs unite, savant's the place. Subscribe and hit the bell, don't leave a trace. Next level knowledge keeps you in the loop. Savant's got the scoop, ain't nothing to recoup. Uh -huh.